Welcome to Electron Online. What if we have to do a dot product between two vectors and neither one of the two vectors is pointing along the positive x-axis like we have in this example right here? What does a dot product look like now? And it turns out it doesn't look any different at all. All we need to realize here is that when we project one vector, like let's say vector A, onto vector B, that the magnitude or length of that projection is simply equal to the magnitude of A times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. So A times the cosine of theta is always going to be the magnitude of A projected onto vector B. And so, since the dot product is A dot B, which is the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle between them, and, oop, I guess I'm missing an E here, and theta is simply equal to theta sub a, the angle that a makes relative to the x-axis, and theta sub b is the angle that b makes relative to the x-axis, so the difference of those two angles is the angle between the two vectors, then you could say that a dot b is equal to the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the difference between those two angles relative to the x-axis, or simply a b times the cosine of theta. So there's really no difference at all, no matter which direction the two vectors point, it's always going to be the magnitude of the one times the magnitude of the other times the cosine of the angle between them. And that's what we mean by the dot product of two vectors.